Star Wars lead Daisy Ridley says she pays no attention to negative criticism of Ray's character. I cannot change the way that some men see women. In she's not wrong, right? What do you what do you think? What do you, what do you think about her uh, her 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 comment over here? Yeah, uh, it's I I always see Daisy Ridley as like you know someone who, like, she's okay, but she just couldn't find her next. She couldn't find her you know big successful gig in Hollywood like. Mm-hmm. It's been Ray, but given the reception of the Disney trilogy, yeah, it never came to be. Then she couldn't find that role where she, you know, he soared high in strides. And yeah, so it's like she has to, you know, um, parrot the teach the you know the philosophy of Lucasfilm. Hence, why she has to say these things. I Me, mean, it's just more like yeah, Lucasfilm. I know. Lucasfilm PR telling her what to say rather than her own opinions. Yeah, I agree too. Now, here's the thing. When Force Awakens came out and I saw the the, the main character was going to be a girl, it didn't bother me. I'm like, oh, okay, she's pretty. I'm pretty sure she has a nice ass. And what she does. And, she's, and she has a British accent. What's wrong with that? You know, Force Awakens was fine. You know, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. What ruined it was bad writing from the last Jedi, from the the, the 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 rise of Skywalker. Like all that's the shit that ruined everything. It's not Daisy Ridley. It is the writing of Finn Poe and uh and and Ray uh, Palpatine or Ray Skywalker. Right. That's what's bad about it. Like have you like like, like I show Daisy Ridley and her sisters all the time. They're all hot looking. Okay. So uh, let's see. Star Wars franchise Ray actor Daisy Ridley revealed that she pays little attention to the more aggressive criticisms of her character because she accepts that she cannot change the way that men look at women. The sequel trilogy star offered her thoughts on the topic while speaking to Gail Golan of the French entertainment news outlet and premiere following her being honored with the 2024 uh, uh, the DeVille uh, American Film Festival. I think that's how you say it. Uh, itself given uh, every year for an emerging actor or actress from tomorrow's cinema. Uh, their time together began with a brief discussion regarding Ridley's discussion to, the, to return to Star Wars uh, universe, wherein the actress admitted that she had no obligations to once more take up the lightsaber and did so solely of her own volition. Uh, so this is her quote right over here. I was simply asked if I wanted to do it based on an idea without the story or even a script, explained to Ridley as translated by Deep L. But if I had not been convinced by the concept, the film would not have been seen the light of day. I took t- uh, the time to think about it for a day and I said to myself that I had a great time on these films. This new adventure seemed fun to me. So why no? Oh, so, so, so sorry. So why say no? Also, she continued, there was a strange coincidence. People, uh, two people told me the same week that they would love to see, uh, uh, sorry, they would love to know what Ray was doing now. I had no idea that there was interest. People really like Ray. I, I think the Raylos like Ray. They want to see her being uh, pregnant by force ghost uh, Kylo mm-hmm. Ren. Mm-hmm. I think this new film will be exciting and will advance the franchise in an interesting way. Didn't they cancel? I heard that they they might cancel the Ray movie. Yeah, that's the rumors I have read too. So yeah, maybe signs of Disney finally trying to clean house the same way they're trying to do it with Marvel. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. Holy days. Oh man, but yeah, man, it's a uh, it's it's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy. But uh, I I think that the I think that the, it, it's it's a very bad thing. Yo, what's going to hypnotic? How's it going, man? I didn't even see this. Holy shit! Yo, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. If you're still here, what's hope you're doing well? Hopefully, we can get you on one day. Hopefully, we can get you on one day. But hope Thank you're doing you. well, hypnotic. I didn't even see that. Uh, see, but yeah, from uh, from there, the actress w- was pressed as to whether she had ever been given any thought. As to what Ray had gotten up after, uh, sorry, gotten up to after 
The Rise of Skywalker, to which she bluntly admitted, I didn't care until I was asked. I felt like the story had wrapped uh, up uh, really nicely. So Ray's return had to be worthwhile because she's going to be pregnant. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, after the Acolyte, you, you know that Lucas films are capable of, you know, doing mm -hmm. anything, literally anything they want in, with Star Wars. Yeah, man. Uh, now, here's the thing. Do you remember I showed a, an AI generated image of Ray with big tits? Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. How, how can you forget it, right? <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. If we got to see more skin, it would have been great. Now, here's the thing. I can't show the image I want to show, right? There was a, uh, there was a recent, uh, some kind of like award show or some kind of thing that uh, Amanda Stenberg went to uh, earlier this week where she was basically wearing a see-through dress. Yeah. Right? And she had some nice boobs. Okay, she got some nice tits. Acolyte would have gotten renewed for season two if that was her outfit. <laughs> and, and, and I can't show that image. It's because uh, you can see her, uh, her yeah. nice supple boobies. Let's see. Uh, it's, oh, I'm still here. Thanks for the shout out. Hope you're doing well too. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. You just woke up, man. Big tits for the win. Yeah, I there you go. Everyone like them big tickle bitties, all right? You know what? I know everyone, everyone like them big attend the big tits. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Uh, following the admission of uh, from Ridley uh, that the spotlight felt less imitate uh, sorry, intimidating this time around, thanks to her experience having handled press tour duties for the sequel trilogy. The actor was eventually asked by uh Gol uh Golhan, uh, the way that some fans received Ray was very violent. In this sense, the term is referring to violently negative emotions rather than any actual physical actions did you ever have that feeling in turn Ridley asserted no 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 i think that certain people have expressed negativity but i don't give them much attention which is what an actor should do right it's like who cares mm -hmm. right? and, and 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 that's that's how it is like the thing is that she's only as good as what her scripts give her so if, if the script sucks it sucks mm -hmm. right now here's the thing if she had, if if somehow her her tit popped out during one of the scenes, I think I think the, I think it would have been really good. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm I'm gonna read one more paragraph right up here because it doesn't really concern me. She added, "I cannot change the the way that some men look at women. It's unfortunately how the society functions." And then overall, I have been very well received. I've made the choice to concentrate on the positive, which is good, right? Yeah. Who cares? But, but, but what do you think about her? She has good teeth, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, overall, I think, like, she's a good... Uh, in terms of, like, her values, like, she's okay as an actress. But mm -hmm. it's just that she never got that, you know, that she never got the needed big score for her to be, like, an iconic actress in Hollywood. Just that, so she has to stick to the Ray until hopefully she finds a role where, you know, she... Her, the movie was well received and they liked her character. Mm -hmm. So they have to kind of like, she kind of has to like have the same prince, um, supposed narratives as the people at Lucasfilm. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but overall, I, um, I have nothing against her. She didn't say anything bad about her yeah. fans or anything like that. She wasn't like going on a tirade like Amanda yeah. Stenberg saying that, you know, you know, don't fuck with my, you know, don't fuck with your discourse or whatever garbage cringe rap. But uh, and the thing is that um, she's better looking, and she has two sisters that look like her. To have that have great dump truck asses. But uh, yeah, um, I'm I'm glad that she's uh, basically leaning more on the positive side of this. I I, I think it's good on her. I think it's good for her a uh, person, uh, you know, uh, her persona as a, a you know a, uh you know adult pretender. But overall, I think what she says is fine. It's not it's not anything bad. It's just she just oh I'm just gonna ignore it. Which is fine, which is what, should, what we should do. All right, Gray, and ch everyone in chat, would this save Star Wars? Gray, what do you think? It can help in performance, but <laughs> save, save, I don't think so. <laughs> it'll increase sales and um, it'll get more tickets. As a no. whole, that. Now, here's the thing. They need to, 
they need to add this in along with better writing. That's it. Right? The thing is that a lot of the guys, we're, we're simple fucking creatures, all right? We see big boobs, we're like, yeah. Yeah, right? And then you also add in a good story. You're like, oh, shit, this is good. That's what they need, all right? They probably shouldn't continue with, like, Rey Skywalker or Rey, whatever, Palpatine, whatever they want to call her. But the thing is that they need to know their core audience. And if they're basically saying, fuck you, core audience, this is not for you anymore. This is a female, this is a female franchise now. That's when you're going to lose 85% of your core audience. No one's going to watch your garbage anymore, right? They, okay, they might be like me, an, an additional 20%. But the thing is, they're just, they're disrespecting the core audience, the core fan base. For what? Oh, l l l not for the male gaze and garbage? It's like, oh, we, we will never do a Slave Leia ever again. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.